Nicole Pinson, Urban Horticulture Agent and Master Gardener Coordinator for Hillsborough County, and today I'm going to talk with you about starting an urban garden. Um, most of the time, as my job as the Urban Hort Agent, I get a lot of people asking questions on how do I get started, what do I plant, especially if you're new to Florida, you'll learn that our seasons are very different and our soil is very different. So here at the Extension Office, we're here to help. We have staff and over 120 Master Gardener volunteers that can help you learn what to plant at what time of the year. Here at the Extension Office, this is our Betty S. Walker Discovery Garden, and we've divided it into different themes. And you can use this garden as a tool to learn what kind of themes you can put in your yard, from a backyard barbecue to an Asian garden. You could do a water garden. We even have a vegetable garden that we'll take a look at later. So there's a lot that you can do in a small amount of space, and we're here to help you get started. I'm here in an example of a vegetable garden and for many urban gardeners one of the biggest questions I get is how do I plant a vegetable garden? So we actually have several University of Florida publications and gardening calendars and guides that spell it out for you and tell you every single month what's the best plant to put in the ground. So it takes the guesswork out of it. So if you've moved here from somewhere else or you're new to vegetable gardening, we've really made it easy for you. And all of these publications are free. They are available to you. You can contact me, the Master Gardeners, or the Extension Office and uh, pick up some of those calendars and brochures. They're also available online. So what I wanted to show you here was that this is an example of a raised bed type of vegetable garden. We have small um, wooden borders and we've got plants and soil. We can grow collard greens, beans, spinach, peppers, tomatoes. Um, we've integrated some vertical gardening in this area. So it really shows um, as a resident of the county or a resident of the city what you can do in a small space. You don't need a lot of space. You just need a sunny spot six hours a day to grow your vegetables and we can help you do that. So here in our vegetable garden, I'm showing you ways that you don't have to use a lot of money. You could be innovative and come up with some plans for some vertical, vertical gardening in a small space. Um, here we've used different rope to try to get the tomatoes to grow up the rope. You can also use the galvanized metal piping and different uh, netting and chicken wire to get beans to grow and peas. Um, another great option is if you have a small space, you can mix your herbs and your flowers with your vegetables. This has a few added benefits benefits of companion planting, but you'll also get more pollinators and insects to your vegetables by planting some of these flowers and herbs. So this is one area of our Betty S. Walker Discovery Garden, that's our backyard barbecue area. And here we've had a flagstone patio, we have different tropical plants and some bananas, but one of the most interesting things about this area is that we have a tool shed that you can take a look at. You can come here and open the tool shed and we've stocked it with products that you can use in your yard that we recommend um, for integrated pest management. Many of them you'll see are the least toxic methods, so we've got examples of horticultural oils and safer soaps, and also a principle of Florida-friendly landscaping is to use slow-release fertilizers, and we've got examples of Osmocote and some other products here. In addition, throughout our garden, we can help you with your urban garden. You can bring in your plant specimens, your insect specimens, and we can help you identify those. Sometimes in an urban garden we get questions on is this insect you know, good or bad? So we have displays and posters and um, different reference materials that you can use that we can help you figure out, you know, is this a good bug, is this a bad bug? What do I have to pick up you know, to try to treat this or is it tolerable? Um, we also have microscopes here that we can take a look at. If um, we get stumped on anything, you know, we're backed by the University of Florida and we can send specimens via plant specimens, insect specimens, we can help you with soil pH analysis, uh, learning about your nutrient availability and how that affects your plants. And we also have the ability to help you figure out nematodes and other diseases and funguses that you may encounter in your urban garden.
one of the best parts of my job is sharing with people what the Extension Office can do for them and for urban gardeners. And here we offer many different workshops and classes. We do a few at the Extension Office, like compost tap-ins, rain barrels, micro-irrigation, water-wise classes. We're even doing worm classes. Um, but we also try to take the Extension Office to the people in the community and to residents of the City of Tampa and Hillsborough County. And by doing that, we have programs that are in the mornings and in the evenings at local libraries, and we rotate topics. Um, some of the topics range from pruning to citrus to turf to vegetable gardening. They're all offered free, and you could check our gardening schedule online and try to please attend one of our gardening workshops at a local library. They're taught by master gardeners who have been certified and gone through University of Florida program to learn how to become a master gardener and share what they've learned with you. This is where all everything happens. This is the Master Gardener plant clinic. So if you've got samples or turf questions or bug issues, you can bring them in here and we can take a look at them and help you diagnose your problems. Um, we've got microscopes and different tools that are available to take a look at them and help you figure out the best solutions for combating a pest problem or identifying a plant or learning about a fungus or a disease issue. We have publications available and we're open from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m every day, Monday through Friday, to help you figure out answers to your gardening problems. So as an urban gardener, I encourage you to come to the University of Florida, Hillsborough County Extension, Master Gardener Plant Clinic, and attend some of our workshops. Happy gardening. Mm -hmm.